Well, I'm, I was very excited about the technology space. I had been uh, watching the development of, of cloud computing, uh, and uh, time came for me to look for a change in, in what I was doing in my career. Uh, and uh, I knew Shen uh, from uh, previous work experience and uh, thought he was an exceptional leader and was excited to go work with him and some of the other folks on the team. Uh, so joined, uh, I joined what at the time was VMOps, uh, where we were doing the, the first version of CloudStack, even prior to it being open source. Uh, but even at that time, we had the vision that we would want to open source uh, the technology going, uh, going forward. And so, you know, very naturally, I joined as VP Engineering. Uh, it was natural for me to take on a role in, in helping to move the project forward. I'm very excited to work with an open source project. Uh, I've worked with a few in the past, and I think it gives you very direct connection to the people that are using your software. Uh, it's also a, um, an excellent way to get feedback, uh, both on you know, directly on bug fixes and usability, but also on features and, and what people want. Uh, with the open source projects, a lot of times you can do things like set up voting mechanisms and and other such things to allow users to come in and say, yeah, I'm really excited about that feature, that would help me, that'd be a great use case. And they can come in and directly vote and then from a product management perspective or you know, a decision of what it is you should go contribute to help move the project uh, forward the best, uh, I think it gives you the best view uh, as to what would really help the users out. Um, I've been surprised, positively surprised, uh, at the the reaction that we've had after joining the Apache Software Foundation with CloudStack. Uh, in in particular, I think you know CloudStack had a good uh, user community prior to going to the Apache Software Foundation, uh, but our um, engagement from developers was not as strong. Uh, but just in the past few months, uh, since we entered Apache Software Foundation with the project. Uh, the developer engagement has been tremendous, uh, and I, you know, we hoped for that, uh, but it's really exceeded my expectations positively uh, by by quite a ways. Cool. Uh, there's many ways people can help. Uh, they they are helping, uh, so it, it's fantastic. I think, you know, the um, there's some of the some of the ways we've already talked about where. You know, people can use the software, uh, make bug reports, feature ideas, uh, doc suggestions, those sorts of things. Uh, they can help other users, uh, so help people who are new to the project, uh, either as users uh, or as developers. Uh, help them get engaged, help them get their setup going, help them debug issues, those sorts of things, all valuable. And of course they can come in and, and contribute with software, documentation, test cases, automation, uh, all sorts of things. Well, I'd say, you know, first is we, we want to maintain a high code quality standard for CloudStack. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, that's something that we're going to be enforcing for all potential patches, uh, regardless of, of their source. Uh, and so, you know, we'll, we'll be doing that, but at the same time, we really have welcomed uh, people who've come to the project in these past few months uh, since we went to the Apache Software Foundation and have, I, I believe, had added four or five people already uh, as uh, new committers. Uh, so. Uh, things are happening quickly right now as, as the community involve, evolves uh, with additional committers. Well, the, the most exciting event uh, in recent memory for me uh, was our first developer boot camp. Uh, we had uh, put out a call that we were going to do a developer uh, boot camp, kind of a, uh, a two-day on-ramp. Uh, for developers here at uh, Citrix headquarters in, in Santa Clara. Uh, and you know, our call gave people, I think, maybe two weeks notice to come attend. And I thought, ah, two weeks notice, you know, what kind of attendance are, are we actually going to get? And I was expecting 25 or, or 30 people. Uh, so we ended up with uh, 87 <laughs> people uh, and had to go get more chairs uh, in the, the room twice. Uh, after uh, more and more folks uh, kept uh, showing up. And so I was just you know, tremendously excited uh, by that response. It 
greatly uh, exceeded my expectations and I also think it's you know sowed the seeds uh, for people to come in with a lot of great uh, contributions uh, going forward that we'll see through 2012 and, and 2013. Both. Uh, there's you know people that flew in from Europe as well as Asia, Asia, uh, and all over North America. Uh, so it was uh, you know, again given two weeks' notice. Right. Uh, very uh, impressive diversity of, of locations. Well, a few things. Um, you know, one is uh, it just time. Uh, so we started working on CloudStack over four years ago. Uh, and you know it was the original set of people working on it uh, had a background of delivering software to telcos and service providers and they also brought with them a, the, a product focus uh, in the sense of you know you look at it you say people are going to run their business on this software uh, and especially you go into a service provider or telco environment there's a you know 24 by 7 high availability high uptime uh, expectation and so that was the design point and the quality point uh, that the original development and architecture was done around. Uh, and so we've carried that DNA uh, as we've grown the team and uh, evolved into an open source project uh, to date. And so we've got a tremendous number of both co commercial customers on the Citrix product side, uh, as well as open source users, again, giving us the quality feedback uh, that, we, that we've, we've talked about uh, and helping to keep the quality up. Well, there's so many of them uh, that the software is so flexible. Um, I think my my favorite one is actually an embedded use case uh, where uh, a company has taken CloudStack as part of a solution that, that they're building and that you'll be seeing in the marketplace quite soon. Uh, my favorite feature is the virtual router. Uh, in, in some ways it's a, a mix of features uh, because it can deliver so many network services uh, but I, you know, I'm really excited about our ability to scale out the system and provide such a wide set of, of uh, network features on a software basis uh, since the virtual router is a single uh, essentially Linux uh, based system virtual machine uh, that can be personalized to the set of features that the user needs. Yeah, well, users can expect whatever they contribute, <laughs> so uh, it's an open source community, you know, go come in, go make it happen. Uh, so uh, I think, you know, more, more directly in terms of what I see coming, um, there's a, a lot of investment being made right now on our Amazon compatibility uh, for CloudStack and, and evolving the APIs there. Uh, there's, a, as, a, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of vendor partners uh, that have come on board since the Apache announcement. Uh, and I think, you know, going forward in kind of a general trend, the orchestration layer will be reaching out and controlling more devices, more types of devices than it does today. And then you'll see uh, some vendor partners making contributions to CloudStack to, to help enable that. So that'll be a big part. And we'll also be enabling more advanced uh, virtualization features, uh, particularly from uh, hypervisors like Hyper-V and uh, VMware. Uh, so we'll see a lot of uh, involvement there. We're working on a variety of kind of frameworks and plug-in mechanisms in order to uh, increase the extensibility of CloudStack. Uh, so for example, we're working on a UI plug-in framework so people can expand the CloudStack UI, do integrations with their particular apps, uh, those sorts of things. Mature, uh, scalable, Visually pleasing, uh, feature rich, mm, innovative. <laughs>